What's up guys, AliPlayers123, back with another video, and in today's video, I'm going to be painting Gehenna from Chaos Galaxy TCG. Okay. The first thing you are going to need is a sculpture to paint, and I'm going to be painting Gehenna, so I have Gehenna right here. The next thing you are going to need is a plate to put all the paint on and to keep it just organized and to keep the table clean. The next thing you are going to need is some paint, and Gehenna does have a lot of different colors, especially on the little uh, suction cups on the tentacles. Each tentacle arm has different colors, so that's why I have a lot of different of these bright colors. You're also going to need some water to wash off the paint brushes, so you don't have to go wash them at the sink, and a paper towel to dry off the paint brushes. You're also going to need some paint brushes. I might get more um, if I need different types. You'll see if I get a different one besides these. Lastly, you're going to need something to reference while you're painting. I have the two cards of Gehenna. I'm also going to have the pictures right up here of Gehenna, so it's easier for you guys to see. So the first thing I'm going to paint on Gehenna is the body, which is technically just a portal, and I need to paint it black, so that's what I'm going to do now. Okay guys, so I've pin finished painting this whole thing black. It took a while and I mean it's pretty fragile because it's only being supported by one wire down there. So I had to be careful with it. 
but I think this coat looks pretty well, pretty good. Okay, so I'm gonna go over a couple parts one more time just to make sure they all look good. start working on the base coat for all of the arms and I'm going to start with the tentacles. Something else that I realized is that 
um, the nails on the purple arm, they're kind of just the same color as the tentacles. So that is the color. I'm just going to keep using this color to paint them. Okay, now that I have the base layer for all the tentacles and I have the nails done, I'm going to start working on the two eyeballs. They are green. One of them actually looks like a different green, like this one looks different from that one. But yeah, I'm going to start. Okay, I'm now going to work on the arm because the two eyes are still drying and I'll get back to them once I'm done with the arm.
Okay, I'm now gonna do my second coat on this eye. It should be dry. I'm now going to work on the eyes and get them white so they're ready to be painted. I am now going to work on the inside of this eye.
So now I need to figure out a way to make all of the suction cups on the tentacles. There's a lot of them and they're pretty small. So I'm gonna start with this one. I tested to see if a Sharpie would look good and it doesn't. So I'm gonna just gonna have to paint them on there. I'm gonna use the blue on this one because that is what color the sucking cups are. Okay, now that all those eyes are done, I need to do the suction cups down here on this tentacle.
Okay, so while I wait for the pupils there and there and there to dry, I'm going to start working on the stand. Okay, for the sake of time, I am just going to put on the eyes and finish the eyes, and then I'll be done with the sculpture. Okay, so the sculpture is officially done, well, I'm gonna finish just the black parts on the bottom off video, but I did one side just to see, to show you guys how I do it, but I hope you guys enjoyed today's video, if you did, make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.